I've always said to people that I have a massive family, or I love the phrase, and I'm actually writing a book entitled Sea of Love, because I grew up with so many people who loved and cared about me all my life. I can't even begin to imagine what it feels like for people who don't have family and don't have anyone. I've always had too many. I've always jokingly said, hey, you can have some of mine. I got plenty and some to spare. However, truth be told, everybody's irreplaceable. And there's so many things that people take for granted. People who live by the ocean don't even visit the water anymore and the shore. When people like myself who live far from it would do anything to spend a day on the beach. We always want what we don't have. That's basically human nature. We always long for and desire the very thing we don't have. I love solitude. I love, love, love my quiet time alone, my time where I can just walk and talk with God and just reflect and grow and learn and be creative and do all my arts and things that I do. I'm a creator. And I can't tell you how many times I would hide in the closet just so I could read a book in peace without being interrupted because I love to read. or have to steal away and find times away that's just my time that won't be interrupted every five minutes by somebody but just my alone time I mean literally when you grow up with as many siblings and cousins and you can't even go to the bathroom without somebody banging on the door or walking in and doing stuff while you're trying to be and I've always been one of those kind I don't care how bad I have to go. If somebody walks in the room or if I know somebody's standing on the other side of the door, I just can't go. So I really, really, really like to steal away and just have my peaceful moments and times. And I understand a lot of my family doesn't understand that because they they love being together 24-7, 365. And... We were raised a little bit differently because my mom was kind of a black sheep in the family. Well, she was very much like me, where she wanted her a long time and had to have it. And she was a professional artist, and it might have something to do with that, even though so many members of our family are artistically blessed and talented on many different levels, whether it's performing arts or visual arts or mixed medium architects and designers one form of art music we've got a lot of fantastic musicians in the family everyone's educated um i'd say a good 80 percent of not just my siblings but my cousins our grandchildren our children are all college educated so We have like our own nation of some of the coolest, funnest, wittiest people that you, and oh my gosh, I can't leave out the beauty. The women and the men in our family are so beautiful and so handsome. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. The men are gorgeous. The hard part is finding men that are even nearly as gorgeous and tall and strong. The men average six feet to six six. Well built. We have the tall, slender ones, and then we have the football player looking buff ones. And um, and they all have that beautiful hair that you want to play in. And they always get the good lashes. We have to put mascara on and fake lashes to get our lashes as thick as full as they're born with and they don't even use them they don't even appreciate them I never understood that but I digress but literally there's never been a day in my life I didn't know I was loved that I couldn't pick up a phone and call just about anyone at any time and be told and know for a fact that this person really means it and not just saying it to be said there's never any time in my life that I felt like I had to be something other than what I am 
to be loved. Love wasn't conditional with our family. I love you because you exist, period. And that is a wonderful, magical, awesome thing that was among my mother and her sisters.